the next generation of lifestyle awareness that will transform your life significantly. Hi, welcome to Living Wow Out Loud. I'm your host, Callie Ray, founder of the Living Wow Center and author of the book, Eight Lessons Lupus Taught Me from Surviving to Thriving with Autoimmune Diseases. Living Wow is a lifestyle of choice and intention that was born from the truth that number one, your body is designed to heal if you give it the environment to do so. Number two, you don't need a label or permission to be the expert in your own body. And number three, more than 80% of all diseases can be prevented or reversed by lifestyle. Unfortunately, this isn't what we're taught in our standard American diet and lifestyle culture. This podcast is a voice of hope and community where you will learn how to live a life of thriving that honors and embraces those three truths. Though you are an individual, you are not alone and you can thrive living wow too. Prevention. What's your excuse? Although it wasn't one of the eight lessons Lupus taught me that I wrote about directly, prevention definitely feels like a topic that needs to be addressed because too many of us are lulled into complacency. I didn't address it in the book because I'd missed the proverbial boat and was in a full-blown crisis. I know I was complacent and I thought I was doing okay when really I just didn't realize that pain and fatigue are not normal. Taking medications is not normal. 50% of adults have a chronic condition. 80% of diseases are preventable. Staggering facts that most adults would rather ignore than face until they have to, like I did. My book, Eight Lessons Lupus Taught Me from Surviving to Thriving with Autoimmune Diseases was written for those like myself who are in crisis and need to reverse the disease process and heal their bodies. What I'm now passionate about is all the rest of you who have the opportunity to prevent a crisis, but you're too complacent or arrogant to do so. Actually, I don't do arrogant. So if that's you rolling your eyes right now, you don't need to listen any further. But my experience is that it's more likely complacency and priorities are just in the wrong order. Now hear me out before you start thinking I have no business in your priorities. I do address why health must be number one priority in my book, Eight Lessons Lupus Taught Me from Surviving to Thriving with Autoimmune Diseases in lesson four, because I learned early on in my journey back to health that without your health, you have nothing. It doesn't matter if you have family responsibilities, they'll be taking care of you. It doesn't matter if you have an important, indispensable position at work. They'll have to do it without you because you're unable to work while you're sick in bed or worse at the hospital or even heaven forbid dead. It doesn't matter if you have the money to live out your dreams because you're sick and you'll be spending it on medications, doctors and hospitals. It doesn't matter if you have all the time in the world because you have no health to live your life with. I've both lived and watched others trapped in this priority lie over the past 25 years in healthcare. I know that most people given the opportunity to turn back the clock and start over would make health priority number one, if they just knew how. So this podcast specifically, I'm veering off my usual course from those who are already in crisis and looking for tools to reverse the negative health cycle to those of you who are healthy. First of all, yay, healthy feels amazing. It's fantastic to have the energy, flexibility, balance, stamina, and strength to do anything you want to do at any time. Our bodies are amazing machines that when running at optimal performance can create, perform, compete, and work with precision and ease. We have built-in systems to tell us when we're hungry, thirsty, tired, and in danger. We have built-in systems to rest, repair, and heal when necessary. These systems are all innate and require no specific programming or thought until they do. Have you ever had a cavity? Why? Did you have it filled or did you let it go because you couldn't afford the cost or time to go to the dentist? Maybe you just didn't realize you had a cavity until you had a roaring toothache and ended up in a dental chair being told you needed a root canal. That probably took a bit more time and certainly more money to repair than the cavity. 
but at least you took care of it when you had to. What if you have enough decay and lost tooth integrity that you end up with dentures or implants? Way more cost, time, and even pain. Could it have been prevented? Absolutely. Brushing, flossing, regular dental care, and a healthy diet are all well-known and accepted practices to maximize oral health and integrity. Would you agree that it makes more sense to buy toothpaste, toothbrush, floss, and make daily oral care a habit than to avoid the dentist and wait until the damage is irreversible? Daily brushing and flossing is so easy. In fact, maybe for some, I'm thinking of the young kids here, it's just a hassle because it's too easy. As a parent, I've used my own mouth as an example of what not to do for my children. Dental work has come a long way in the past 40 years. The dental hygiene I now understand and practice is far different than what I did as a child. And the dental care I receive is far different than what I received with my mouth full of silver fillings as a child. Could I have prevented the decay over years in my mouth? Yes. Did I receive early intervention so that I did not have to have any root canals? Yes. Can I do better now that I know better and prevent any further decay or deterioration in my teeth? Yes. Does it cost me less to prevent than to treat? Always. The hard thing for most cynics to see with prevention is that you never really know what you prevented. Do some people who never smoked a day in their life get lung cancer? Most certainly they do, although it's not common. Do some lifelong chain smokers live a long life well into their 90s? Most certainly they do, but again, it's not common. The problem is that we really don't know what our life will bring, but we do have some truths that are timeless and documented through the ages. I don't know that I'm going to get in a car accident, but I buckle up myself and everyone in my car each time I get in to drive. Only a couple of times in my life have I been in an auto accident and never have I been injured, but still I put on my seatbelt to maximize my safety. We take even more care with our infants and young children, making sure their seats are secured in a certain way and that they are secured within the seat properly. I have never been in a car accident with my children on board, but I know plenty of parents who are grateful their little ones were secured in seatbelts and car seats when they were involved in a crash and were able to walk away from it or sustained injuries that were survivable because of the restriction that may have seemed unnecessary or excessive. We know that our bodies need plants for optimal health. Ancient healing practice and even many modern pharmaceuticals are derived from plants and the therapeutic properties they give in support of our bodies. Food is the most common source of sustenance with all sorts of philosophies of which kinds and how much. What is not controversial is that plant foods are superior to all other foods in cleansing, fueling, and supporting our body systems. Unfortunately, our food is not the quality that it once was because we have far too much processed food in our diets that come from labs and factories, and because the produce we buy generally has been grown and shipped with less nutrient benefit than that grown in your own backyard. Most of us are not gardeners or farmers, and those of us who are still have a limited variety of foods that we grow and produce. So the conundrum we face is living in a world that has more toxins than ever, working under more stress than ever, believing that our fortified food is better than ever, and it is not. So I ask you to get some clarity about prevention. If you're in a situation where you can grab a pen and a paper, just answer yes or no to these following questions. If you can't, just do a mental tab. Number one, is health priority number one? Number two, do you practice daily habits that keep your mind sharp? Number three, do you eat nine to 13 servings of produce a day? More if you're an athlete. Number four, do you move your body with exercise every day? Number five, do you participate in some sort of spiritual activity every day? Number six, are you rested and energetic? Number seven, are you a comfortable weight? Number eight, do you have the energy, balance, strength, flexibility, and fitness to do what you choose to do? Number nine, do you detox your body, mind, and spirit routinely? 
And number 10, do you practice some form of gratitude or happiness daily? Great job if you answered yes to each of these questions. You have a fantastic prevention program and will likely reap the benefits of good health throughout your life based on my review of the literature and study of healthy lifestyles. If you have some no's, I would encourage you to dive a little deeper to be sure you're not being complacent about the possible cavity or accident, right? You understand my analogy there, that you may encounter around the corner. You will benefit from making health a higher priority and using our support and tools to increase your prevention practice. If you answered no to more than five, you're a time bomb. The question is not if, but when you end up with a health crisis. You may be like me, headed for a major crisis and in complete denial of it. Even worse, you could be like my dad, my brother, and my friends, dying in their 40s and 50s because they didn't have time. I would like to encourage you to get clear about where you are and where you could be. I would like to encourage you to join our community of thriving and living wow. Truth is, it's a journey for each of us, but the more we can surround ourselves with healthy habits, routines, and like-minded people, the more likely we will be to do the daily work of prevention. 50% of adults have chronic disease. 80% of disease is preventable. Why wouldn't you pick up the proverbial toothbrush or put on the prevention seatbelt every single day? Because it costs too much? Because it takes too long? Because you don't need it this time? Because your friends will think you're weird? Because your family doesn't want to? Is it really worth the price? I believe you're worth it. And I believe it's your responsibility to care for and maximize the machine that you've been given. If you drive it recklessly or you don't do the maintenance, you will have the consequences rather than excuses. Hey, if you find value here on the Living Wow Out Loud podcast, will you please share it with your friends and take a minute to rate it on the platform that you're listening on? That's how we live wow out loud. You know that more people need hope and they need the messages shared. And that's how we get recognized among all the noise. This is where you find your voice. Will you please share and subscribe and rate so that we can grow? After my personal transformation from surviving to thriving with autoimmune diseases, I was completely astounded that the experience was not what I expected it to be. Instead of resenting my body and being forever trapped with a legacy of bad genes, as I had believed would be my fate, I looked and felt 20 years younger. I had dropped weight that had plagued me for decades, eliminated chronic pain that no doctor, therapy, or medicine could relieve and found energy that I hadn't had since I was 16 years old. Because this is not what I expected, and because I wish someone would have told me that there is another way than sad, I wrote the book, Eight Lessons Lupus Taught Me from Surviving to Thriving with Autoimmune Diseases. As I began to share the book and the message of Change Your Story, Living Wow was born. After years of continuing to learn and study how and why lifestyle has such an impact on disease and the world being torn apart by a global pandemic, I can't stand by any longer keeping it to myself. You have to understand that the power is in your hands. The power is in your body. The power is in your lifestyle. The Living Wow Center is a holistic wellness practice that utilizes the framework of the Living Wow Lifestyle to identify system failures or maintenance needs. Whether you just need a tune-up or a complete systems overhaul, we support you as an individual to get back out on the journey and living well. We will work with you to determine levels of function, needs, tools, resources, and or providers that may be best equipped to guide you as you step out of the negative health cycle and turn it into a positive health cycle. The Living Wow Center offers a revolutionary, comprehensive approach to healing, coaching, and support that is necessary in our complex, sad world. 
Schedule your complimentary consultation today to see how Living Wow can support you. I am super excited to announce Supercharge for you. We are changing the name of the Living Wow Challenge to more clearly represent the monthly support program where you take Living Wow for a 10-day spin. I know, 10 days doesn't seem like much, but it is. And that's why it's now Supercharge. Living Wow Supercharge is a 10-day supported focus on eating a clean, nutritionally dense diet with intention as you jumpstart into the Living Wow lifestyle. You will feel lighter, more energetic, and empowered with your nutrition. You will experience the power of nutritional healing with less pain, more energy, and a better mood. The supercharge includes a comprehensive 10-day seasonal menu, recipes, videos, quick start guides, and links to resources. You begin with a prep, then daily support, and wrap up with a review. This is the fastest, most immersive way to get started and feel the effects of Living Wow now. Right now, go to livingwowcenter.com. That's L-I-V-I-N-G-W-O-W-C-E-N-T-E-R.com to sign up now for the next Supercharge, running the 1st to the 10th of the month. Early sign up ensures you a spot and gives you time to complete your preparation assignments as you gear up to Supercharge. Wow, you just finished another episode of Living Wow Out Loud. I hope you leave today empowered to live your best life and thrive. If you're ready to jump in and learn a little bit more about Living Wow, come check out the Living Wow Center. That's L-I-V-I-N-G-W-O-W-C-E-N-T-E-R dot com. And maybe consider joining our next Living Wow Challenge. We run the 1st to the 10th of every single month. See you soon.